Hello and welcome to a tutorial on Systematic LEDs by Not Matt. This was an original fork by Scott Lawson, Audio Reactive LED Strip. To start we're going to go and download a Conda. I would recommend the Python 3.6 version. Go ahead and download that and install that. You may notice your computer to be slow while the installation of this program is being installed, so please don't interact with your computer while this here is installing. So the setup over here is for a one strip LED. It's only got one controller and uh, you can see there my computer 192.168.1.100 and that statically stats and assigned by the MAC address of my PC. And over there you can see the node MC3 version 3 and that's what I've currently got. Uh, that there is 101, I've named it, you can name it RGB 101 and I've worked out the, how many amps I needed based on the manufacturer's LEDs. I've also got over here, this is my multiple LED strip one, so I've got currently going to have multiple LEDs on this, uh, multiple strips. So on this one here I'm going to have multiple LED strips and you can see over here my setup, it's still got the set, um, it's got the music and over here sensor 1, sensor 2, sensor 3, sensor 4, sensor 5 and with MAC addresses of each of those ESPs 8266. So once you've installed Anaconda, you can go and, and search for Navigator, Anaconda Navigator, open this. And then you're going to go into Environments, go Create, call it RGB, make it simple. So this is the basic environment that is set up. You're going to go play, open in terminal, and you're going to use the commands that I've put down in the description of this video or on the GitHub tutorial link. So these commands, copy the first one, and go yes. This here will take a little while and once that there has proceeded you can go ahead and install the second line of code. While that there is installing you can go into one of the links that I've also provided through to you um, which is notepad++, download it from the link in the description of this video and also download Adreno also down in the description of this video or on GitHub. Here I'm going to do the Windows installer. Now that there's been installed, you're going to go and copy in the second line of code, again in the description of the video. Enter that. Successfully installed. Now you're going to go in and check your dependencies. So the way to do that, you go into base root, which is the standard default one, and then back into RGB. It's going to load and scan the environment's packages, and you can see, based on here, you've got numpty, which is over here. Next thing we're going to do is go into GitHub projects, and we're going to go clone or download, and then download zip. I've created a separate folder and downloaded it already. Once it there is downloaded, extract the folder. enter into it, open that folder, then go to Adreno, and because I have Adreno currently installed, you can double click that, now you can see here there is a bunch of config, and what we're looking into is uh, getting that extra GitHub project, and to also do that, the link's there, download zip there, save it into your folder of your Adreno, open the folder, extract it, control A, control X, go into the controller folder and control V, see it's all in there, 
now open the WS2812 controller. So all the following tabs over here are due to the fast LED being installed in the folder. So you can see by me highlighting over here that I have completed and adjusted the necessary fields of the SSID, which is the Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password over there. This is the device name. Put in the IP address that I'm going to statically set for this device. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into command control, so I go CMD on the search and enter, followed by ipconfig. You can see here I've got the gateway over here, matches up to this over here, 192.168.1.1, and .101 is the static IP address I'm going to set for WS2812 controller. Now I'm going to go into Tools, and I'm going to go into Ports, and I'm going to see what ports are currently there, which is only COM1. Now I'm going to go and plug the device, the NOD MCU uh, WS2812 device into my computer now. And I'm going to go back to Tools, Port, and I'll see COM4 has now shown up, so I've confirmed that it is now detected. I have 160 for my CPUs, and my upload speed set to the highest. You can also see that I have selected board nodes MCU1, ESP1, 2, E module that they can be selected just use. And then you can go verify if you wish, but it's not actually necessary. And click upload. So you'll take a while. So you can see there that's completed over here. You also note that the LEDs in the fast LED sections needs to match up, so you need to make sure that you have the correct amount of LEDs of your LED strip entered in the fast LED definitions just in over here. So you can power it on um, your strip at the moment, um, including your lights. If you set it up correctly, just go ping 192.168.1.101. Now you see here it's responding because I am getting a reply, receive 4 packets at percent loss. So that there confirms that I can communicate with the WS2812 controller. Now because I have systematic LED folder in another drive, I'm going to move it now into the C drive and paste it in the C drive. Open the folder. Then go to Python, Library, right click Config and go Edit in Notepad Plus. You see here all the config over here. Some of this stuff needs to be changed to match up with your LEDs and the IP address of the controller. So what you can see here is I have entered the MAC address for a later stage. Um, it's not actually required. And then I have over here 192.168.1.101. And over here I have 250 pixels, 250 LEDs on my strip. This must match up to the ESP8266 firmware that you have uploaded previously. Now that I have saved the config and the save over here, I can close this and I am going to go back one and you'll see I've got main over here. I am going to copy the C drive location, uh, so C, Systematic LEDs Master, Python, and you'll see main there too. Following from this, you can go back into your navigator, open terminal, and I'm going to go CD, Control V, or right click paste, enter. You're currently in the RGB environment of C slash systematic LEDs master python and now you're going to go python main dot py again this is in the description of the video you'll see here as the audio of my voice is matched up to the visualization output so what you'll need to do is you're going to take the mic input to your audio output now on my computer I go open playback devices description of the video 
has the link for voice meter and once you have voice meter installed you get something like this you'll then need to go under the speaker icon and change the input voice meter input um, which is done so over here and then change the hardware out it has multiple channels so I just click gaming headset for this year so what it's actually doing is it's taking the audio outs, the audio outs that you're playing on your computer and then it's going to go into voice meter voice meter is then going to output onto the Logitech speakers so so it's splitting it up into two audio streams one output through for the voice meter output recording into your RGB strip and one for your actual speakers itself so what you should do is you should go into recording voice meter output and click set as default so set default then OK so go into Anaconda Navigator RGB Open Terminal same thing as before Python main.py runs and opens this here now I don't have any audio playing at the moment so I'm just going to go into Spotify and go play now you can see that this here is actually now playing with the audio of Spotify so your audio output of your computer is now going through the RGB strip as well as your speakers Thank you for watching, this is Matt Muller. I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know in the comments what you think of the think of the tutorial video. Cheers! About a little guy that lives in a blue